Hello, it's uh, Melodic X on Alice and MC. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use your player menu. Um, every player which logs in will receive this book in the slot number one. So if you press one on your keyboard, you will see this book in your inventory. Uh, if you press E, you can see that it's a open menu. Right click the item to open the player menu. So what we, what we want to do is we want to right click it. It will open this uh, GUI. Uh, this is one of the most uh, useful um, tools you will have on the server. This is basically everything you could ever need. So let's start from the top. So top left is your skills menu. So uh, let's open it up. And this is all of your skills which you can uh, use. So it will say, for example, bind beam. This, this is a skill which you get at level one. So it says required level one. It, it gives you a description, so sh shoot a beam that will damage entities it passes through. It will tell you how much damage it does, so it does 10 damage, and how much mana it costs, and what the cooldown is. And at the bottom you can see the uh, combo you need to do in order to cast it. So let's go back to the menu. So next one is attributes menu. So this is where you use up your attribute points. Um, as you can see I have 84 points left. <clears throat> you get 2 points every time you level up. So vitality, spirit, uh, intelligence, dexterity, strength, defense, etc. Uh, next one is your rune slot. So here you can uh, put uh, runes which can give you different types of effects. So I have a crown rune, so if I take it off and put it back on. Um, now if I press F5 you can see I'm wearing a crown. So these are dropped by some mobs that are very rare and some of these can only be purchased from title shop. So next up we have the mystery boxes. Um, so you get mystery boxes from plenty of different um, activities, one of the, which is voting. So what you want to do is you want to left click it here to open, you press yes, and you, we're looking up and there's a box which just spawned. And let's see what we get. Oh, we got tribal chaps. Okay, so next up we are at the high score. So here you can see everyone's levels and um, what attributes they specced into. So you can see um, that the peak, the max you can have for attributes is 25, except for vitality, which is 50. Everything else has to has a maximum of 25. Um, so let's go back. Um, next one is custom recipes. So this is how to craft certain things. So let's say if you want to create a lockpick, you put iron ingot next to a gold ingot and you get a lockpick. Uh, Towny menu. So this is how you manage your town. There's so many options here. Basically it helps you to protect your land, etc. So we want to exit that menu. Uh, next is fishing menu. So um, this is how you buy bait, for example, um, how to sell bait and how to sell fish so it's very self-explanatory um when you when you basically fish you'll get custom fishes and you, you can sell them here to make money this this will uh, bring up how to how to make paintings how what the recipes are and how to um, use them you, you can paint on the server um player kits is at the moment unavailable um, this is server warps. This is extremely useful. Uh, you'll be using this quite a lot. It's all the teleports there are on the server. So random wilderness teleport, randomly teleports you somewhere. Uh, easy dungeon, medium dungeon, training, crates, uh, bank, etc. A lot of very useful um, shortcuts. Uh, this is the uh, scoreboard combo board so here you enable which skills you want to be shown on your skills combo board on the right so let's say we want to have tornado show up so now it shows up tornado as you can see um, and let's say we want to have electro shock so now it shows electro shock as well uh, let's say we want wolf um, now it shows, shows Wharf as well. Um, or you can disable it altogether. Easy as that. Uh, next is your wanted status. So you can see any pending charges, what your current bounty is. And lastly is the party menu. So you just invite players. Whilst in a party, you guys share XP as well as uh, Slayer tasks. So if you are 
if you have a task to let's say kill 20 ghouls and your partner kills one of those ghouls it'll count towards your task if you're close enough to him um that's everything that's the entire overview of the menu um thank you very much for watching bye